Did I ever tell you guys about the time I got fired from the zoo? Welcome to the gradual report, where we gradually report. Back when I had long, puffy, bouffant hair, I used to work at a zoo. It was fun until they put me in front of the bat enclosure. I hate bats. A lot. Um, it isn't so much their disproportionately large penises that bother me as much as it is the fact that they urinate and defecate upside down, which I found very disturbing. Because whenever I try to do urination or defecation upside down, I end up just pooping on my head. But uh, anyway, they, what they did was they, they had me memorize a bunch of little bat facts. Apparently, I didn't, I didn't do that. I don't, sometimes when I get lazy, I just make shit up. And they're, uh, they're magical. You ever catch one, you get three wishes. Funny Danny, bats aren't magical. Unfortunately, the crowd got a little rambunctious and started pounding their fists into the force field that was protecting the bat. Force field is a zoological term we use when we, there's a glass panel. That's what I called it when I worked at the zoo. Uh, after that, they demoted me, I guess if you could be demoted from bats, to the petting zoo. The petting zoo suck. Why? Because every animal at the zoo is considered an ambassador to their species. And we don't pick up ambassadors and blow fart bubbles into their bellies, even if they are soft and cuddly. Final summation, I got fired from the zoo for picking up a bunny rabbit and blowing little fart bubbles into its soft, cuddly little baby belly. You tried touching the baby rabbit and not. <coughs> Personally, I think that if you were able to blow fart bubbles into the stomachs of ambassadors, the world would just be a better place. Hope you like the story, and how did that get on there? <laughs> Tomorrow's my first day of work. I'll tell you guys all about it tomorrow.